I'm Catherine Woolard, I'm the director of ECRE. In 2019, there are institutional changes which create opportunities. The European Parliament elections of May of this year led to a Parliament which is more fragmented, but it's also a Parliament where there are more progressive voices. So the wave of extreme right MEPs that was predicted didn't come to pass, and that means the Parliament should be able to continue to play its role in defending the right to asylum in Europe, for instance. So there is an opportunity to, for the EU to take a broader approach to asylum and migration policy. In the last three to four years, the EU strategy has been based on prevention of arrivals of people in Europe, regardless of the costs and the consequences. With the changes in the institutions and the notably the arrival of a new commission, changes at, at member state level where we see for instance 10 member states with new governments in the last year, generally with uh, extreme right parties actually going out of government, there is an opportunity to see a broader approach on this issue. We would hope to see the Greens defending a different vision of asylum and migration within Europe. This starts with having a functioning asylum system in Europe, safe and legal channels for people to reach uh, safety within Europe, uh, a foreign policy based on tackling the causes of forced displacement such as climate change, and a focus within Europe on inclusion through rights, uh, regularisation and respect rather than uh, the discourse of xenophobia that we've heard.